Timothy. Uh, this is my favorite part of the day. This is uh, this section is called Music for Music's Sake. Uh, April 17th, 2024. Bear with me. Hope you enjoy. And let's bring it down to an open G and just have fun. cool. Bear with me. Hope you enjoy. And what that is, is that it's a bar on the seventh fret. When you're in an open G, you can have fun because you can just as long as you have the strength in your finger to bar evenly, you've got chords all the way up and down the guitar, and it's really cool. So let's just uh, work on some uh, finger picking. Uh, this is based on when I was a kid. I keep saying it in every video, or a lot of them anyway, uh, that when I was being taught in uh, Sea Park Music in uh, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, I had a really great guitar teacher I haven't been able to locate him so many years ago. Uh, but... He, he taught me how to do the finger pattern, picking pattern for dust in the wind. And then I just uh, took off with that. You know, it took me quite a few decades. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's a good way to start. And then you just plug it into any any feeling that you might have in an open G. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, less talk and more playing. And what I just did there was a harmonic in the picking pattern. Again, you have to have a straight finger across barred. In an open G, it's just great. Uh, but if you, you know, to learn how to do your harmonics, it, it takes, you have to go over the metal on the 12th fret or the 7th fret. Those are two main harmonic areas. There are others. Uh, and then learn how to do picking. Remember in uh, some uh, Led Zeppelin, for instance, uh, 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 hats off to Jimmy Page. Uh, okay, so. Oh, uh, kind of out of tune. a lot better so uh, uh, uh from when the levy breaks the uh the coda is and you know that was an old that's not led zeppelin that's actually led zeppelin taking an old blues song and really doing something good with it but it was already a great uh number written by someone else about the floods of Tupelo, I think. I have to go back and check. So uh, let's take that pattern, which is... And so forth. Uh, have a good time practicing that and uh, uh, to be continued. Thank you.